I'm Colville Wood and I'm the Managing Director of Total Objects, which is one of the companies owned by Larry Sullivan, who's one of the, the founding patron uh, and the trustee of the Collins Barry Redmond from a company called Woodlands, which we're a subcontractor. My name is Neil Holman and I'm the planning manager for Costing. And I'm Brendan Ryan and I'm acting commercial manager in the L London region for Love and Partnership. Uh, my name is David Wilkinson. And I'm a subcontract buyer for Lovely. Okay, my name is Leah Thomas. I'm an assistant quantity surveyor for Osborne Property Service. Okay, and my name's Ellie, and um, I'm the financial director at Stevenson's. My overriding element is I don't think what I saw was as bad as what I thought it could have been. But I also think, looking at it, I think lots of things that I think we can do is very much achievable. So that's what I've got from the project to come from. So I think that the thing that I'll take away most, the, the, the image I'll take away most was when we were visiting the Kiwama project and we were with the pupils in the school and they were singing to us and it was a fantastic uh, experience of, of, of the unity of the school. But behind the girls who were singing and outside the school, I saw two boys of the same age as the people in the school who just come back from work, 10 years old, 11 years old, and they were carrying their tools back from work. And the look on their faces, looking into the school, it was a, it was a look of, you know, I don't know what it, it was, it was just desire to be included on the other side. And those are the people that should be included in, in the projects. And that, so that's the image I'll take away. It's, it's the people who are still excluded from the projects. And, and, and they're just showing how much more work is still done. There are two things which really struck me from this trip. Uh, the first thing is that the, the most vulnerable people in the communities we visited get no support from the government or from the state. Uh, they are basically left to fend for themselves. The second thing, and probably the most poignant thing that struck me, is that individuals within the communities take it upon themselves with no resources and no support to try and make things better in that community. On this trip, I've thought more about the different types of construction that can be used, the thoughtfulness and the innovation of the building team. I think they're very tight knit community anyway, um, but I have the you know, developing the primary school and the secondary school hopefully will be done as well. We give the younger children as they grow up the opportunity to be able to go out and get better work to then feed that back into the community. And I think the enthusiasm between little to big is hopefully something that will develop and it will enrich the whole of them as it goes through its process of, of, of developing over several years. I think what the Coins Foundation is trying to achieve at Kuama is almost to eventually make itself redundant, to be able to totally step away knowing that the community is able to support itself financially, it has education, it has healthcare, um, and also that that's going to be a role model to other communities to hopefully want to do the same thing. I think that the Coins Foundation are doing a wonderful job at Kuama by trying to incorporate everybody into decision making and becoming a, an inclusive community where they not only look after the widows and orphans but they look after everybody that needs looking after and that includes able-bodied children, disabled children, everything. In my view and from um, discussions and reading, the long-term aim is to put a skeleton in place, an infrastructure which will provide education, health uh, and wealth through uh, ultimately work and job creation, um, which will create a community which can sustain itself uh, and doesn't need continual interference or want a better word from, uh, from external bodies, so the communities can do it themselves. Well, I, mean, I think the message that's come across in, in what we're trying to achieve here is um, 
sustainable communities. And, and, and so two things, I, I think, the two words together, creating a community, getting everybody involved in that, so there's nobody excluded, um, and to give people the tools and the uh, facilities that a community can use, but also then giving them the mechanisms, the training and, and, the, and the facilities to sustain it themselves. And, and, and that's really important, so that they don't depend on handouts, or on aid, on, on constant funding from, from overseas, but what they're able to do is to move on to the next project and, and not, be, not constantly be living hand-to-mouth as, as, as they are.